Morning, YouTube. All right, so here's the deal for the day. We are making oxalic acid treatments for Varroa mites. We're doing this without um, having a vaporizer. We're gonna do it the uh, Randy Oliver method. So we just went, had our breakfast, got my cup of joe, so we're ready to go. So let's get our beekeeping game on. Okay, and here we go making our Varroa mite treatments. Some of the stuff you're going to need. Oxalic acid. Um, I'm just using this wood bleach. This is Savogran brand. I ordered this off of Amazon. Um, I wasn't really able to find this in the hardware store, so I just ordered it. It took a couple days to get here. Um, some glycerin, food grade glycerin. The blue shop towels. And the little kitchen scale, some uh, things to mix the ingredients in, and of course you're gonna need some gloves because this is oxalic acid. So, so that's kind of what you need. Um, something to stir it with. I'm just gonna use the metal end of this spatula just because I can rinse it right off and it'll be good to go. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up and rolling. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure the 31 grams of glycerin. So what we're going to do is go ahead and put whatever you're going to put that in. And you'll see you'll need to make sure you tear that or zero that out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pour the 31 grams in there. Like I said, remember, make sure you zero that out first. Stop a little early to... Should we don't go over 29 31 okay so after we get our 31 grams of glycerin what we're gonna do is we're gonna go microwave this to warm it up for about 10 to 15 seconds so hang tight I'll be right back all right so just throw it in there it's on 14 seconds ready we go ahead and heat it up you don't want it to get too hot just warm enough that when we put the uh, oxalic acid in there it'll dissolve Go ahead and take this time to tell you, you'll want to make sure that you use old dishes and stuff that you don't really want to keep. Um, your honey may not be too happy if you destroy her dishes, so. All right, now we're gonna put the 25 grams of, of uh, oxalic acid in here. What we're gonna do is just gonna kinda slowly put it in here. It'll take a fair bit, it looks like. Um, notice I'm wearing my fancy gloves so you don't really want to uh, burn your fingers. You can get these gloves pretty cheap, honestly, at Harbor Freight. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm a Harbor Freight fan when it comes to getting some of the low-cost stuff that you might need. Oh, that's 23, I just need a little bit more. I think I paid maybe five bucks for the, the box of these things, so. All right, there's 25 grams. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to mix these two together. And I'm gonna do that in this bowl. You want something that's big enough that when you mix them together, you're not gonna splash all the stuff out and make a mess on your honey's table. And also, you'll wanna use a microwave safe too, because you're gonna end up microwaving this again here in a minute. You just kind of want to stir it around so it kind of dissolves here. You want to stir it for a couple minutes until you get most of these crystals gone. You can um, multiply this recipe. So if you're going to do several towels, this is enough to treat one towel. If you're going to do several towels, you can make a bigger batch. In fact, you can make a batch big enough that instead of saturating it the way I'm going to show you, you can just basically sit, pour it over several towels stacked on top of each other and it'll saturate all of them. Like I said, we're just gonna stir, 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 stir. Let me 
so this is just to warm it up enough to let the rest of those crystals dissolve in there. And back to the stirring table. And here we go. Stir it up until it's completely dissolved in there. If you're using a shallower container than this, you may want to put wax paper underneath it just to keep from spilling this stuff on your, your table. This is wood bleach after all, so <laughs> probably bleach my, my table, so we're not taking a chance of using the, the tall bowl instead. And you can see it's starting to dissolve nicely. I did have to stick it back in the microwave for a few more seconds to get that temperature up where it needs to be dissolved. Don't get it too hot though. You don't want it to start bubbling and boiling and stuff in there. This is the part I'm going to go ahead and use a little wax paper under it. To make sure we don't destroy the kitchen table. shop towels. This is the Scott brand. Um, you can get them at Walmart. In fact, I got these at Walmart. Um, you can get them at some of the auto parts stores, stuff like that. But I made enough for one towel. And if it gets two, it gets two. But and what I'm going to do is just kind of fold it into fourths. I'm going to set it down in a container here. I'm just going to slowly pour the mix. Not so slowly as the case may have been. Into here. This actually looks like it might be enough to get more than one towel. This is the part you want to make sure the gloves are on for. Um, a lot of guys may think they're all that plus a bag of hot chips until they start getting acid under their fingernails. They realized, oops, I should have worn my my gloves, so safety first. And you'll see it's not quite soaked all the way through, so we're just going to kind of squeeze it. It helps get it where it wants to be. I want to make sure it's completely soaked. And what we're going to end up doing is I'm going to measure this again. Um, we want it to be about 31 grams with all the liquid out of it. So I need to get back to my scale here. All right, so I zeroed it out, um, put some wax paper on top of there. We're just going to see if we're seeing we're a little heavy. I wanted about 31 grams, so I'm going to squeeze some of this liquid out of here. Now, this is also a little bit bigger of a towel, I think, than... Let me tear that. 43. Squeeze some more out. This excess uh, liquid, you can actually soak another towel in it if you make it more than one. It's 37, a little bit more. I think that's about as close as I'm going to get it, 35, 36. And what we're going to do is go ahead and undo it. I might try to fold it around another way and see if I can't get a little more of that liquid out of there. Yeah, there we go. I think that's about where I'm going to get it. So. What we do is we just unfold it. Now you can either go take these out immediately and put it on your hive, or you can store them in a Ziploc bag. Um, even if when you undo it, they are kind of crunchy, 
Um, once they get in that hive in there with the humidity, they'll kind of loosen up again. And you'll see it's one treated paper towel ready to go. I'm just going to fold it back up so I can store it in the baggie. And that's it. So next video, I'll show you how to put these on your hives. Um, you want to get these on there so that what will happen is the bees will actually chew that and to get it out. And as a result, it'll treat the, the hive for varroa mites. Um, last year, I did not treat my hives for varroa mites because I was kind of questioning whether, you know, a lot of people, there are two different camps on beekeeping, to treat or not to treat. That is the question. And so last year I was like, well, maybe I won't treat and let them see how nature does it. But after uh, losing a couple of those hives in the winter to mice, I think, I'm going to go ahead and treat this year. And I guess it just kind of makes sense. If, if you're gonna raise the bees, they're not in nature, so to speak. You're, you're in there messing with them. So it makes sense that you would want to go ahead and help them along. So like I said, look for that next video um, next week on how to actually get these in your hive. And that's it, that's all there is to it. You can make a whole bunch of these hive or uh, treatments just from these things. I think I paid five or six bucks for the wood bleach, a few bucks for the glycerin, and then the shop towels were I think three dollars and something cents for a two pack, and then the gloves. And all of it, as you can see, I've got plenty of leftover so I can treat a whole bunch of hives with it. So we appreciate you watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. Any questions, please comment below. Y'all take care.